Hey, Rockford Jake here. Today I'm joined by Chris from 40,000 Steps. How's it going, Chris? Oh, it's awesome. How are you, Jake? Doing great, great, thank you. So tell me a little bit about 40,000 Steps. Well, it was a couple of years ago that I went through treatment for alcoholism. Um, it had kind of been a slow burn for a long time, got to the point where I was drinking my way through every day. Finally, I kind of cracked up and I went through treatment and the day after I got out, I did what nobody should really do and I ran a marathon. <laughs> and that afternoon I sat down and I started journaling and I quickly realized that it was gonna be a memoir. Yeah. So I write the memoir, which takes a long time, but it was a labor of love. And then I realized, okay, well, if I'm gonna be able to sell my book, I need a platform. So I started doing the uh, a live stream show on a podcast, which we just finally launched it this past November. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. I, I think the big thing with my story is it's so accessible. Like there's a startling number of people who are walking around with a problem with addiction who aren't getting help. So that's really what I try to create is this community where it's safe for people to talk, share ideas, share stories, work on tools together. And you know, it's just a place where it's cliche, but you know, we, we can laugh and we can cry together. Yeah. So we do, we now are doing a weekly podcast. We, nice. we feature anything from, I just got done interviewing a guy who's an Iron Man who spent 10 years as an opiate addict. Wow. Um, we have experts on the show. I've had a bar owner on the show because we want to get, you know, every perspective on what's a really difficult uh, issue to talk about. That's, I mean, that's really a driving thing with this. Right. Is to get after that stigma because this is the sort of stuff that people don't want to bring out into the open and talk about. And that's what keeps a guy like me, like a high functioning alcoholic, you know, that, that's what keeps me from talking about it. Yeah, that's one thing that you'd said in our little like pre-recording chat was like the surprising number of people that are out there where on the surface you run into them on the street and you would never suspect that they're going through that kind of struggle. Mm -hmm. But behind the scenes, they are dealing with, you know, the thrills of addiction. You know, it was insanity the way that I would drink my way through the work day, which meant I'd be going to the courthouse every day. I'd be getting, you know, wanded by sheriff's deputies and bailiffs. And I managed to, to go through there on a daily basis and nobody was any the wiser. Um, so yeah, a lot of us, when we're in the throes of addiction, we are very good at hiding it. I yeah. always say that I was like a, a ninja with my addiction. I mean, my wife found out a few times she'd find empties and we'd have that brutal conversation. But eventually it would always be like, you know, I'd get clean for a couple of days. Right. But then it would become like one more time for the last time and I'd be right back in it again. Yeah. And it kind of took me hitting, and I hate this term, but it took me hitting a sort of rock bottom where I snapped and walked out of work and checked into treatment. Um, I, I don't think that people need to hit that Hollywood rock bottom of losing everything, losing their job, their family, their, you know, their, their house. So if, if my show can accomplish that, if it can kind of create a safe place where people can reach out, get some help, get some advice, or just feel a place of belonging in that community, then that's a good day for me. And I, I hear from folks. Yeah. And, and that's that's the power in it. That's the payday for me. That's amazing. Well, for those that um, can relate to a lot of what you just said, like where can they go to learn more about you, catch the podcast and, and join your community of people taking 40,000 steps one step at a time? Sure. Every episode drops on Tuesdays and you can search 40,000 steps radio everywhere that you listen to your favorite shows. <laughs> um, the website for now is 40,000 steps wordpress.com. I'm still getting the rubber stamp from the state on it being a, a non, or a, uh, an L3C. So when that happens, we're going to buy the domain. It'll be 40,000steps.com. I do a morning uh, conversation when we do interviews on IGTV on Instagram. So that handle is at 40,000, two underscores, steps, at 40,000, two underscores, steps. And we do that at 8 a.m. Central Time, Monday through Friday. And awesome. the only other thing I wanted to point out was that for me, a big part of getting help was that for me, the alcoholism was a symptom to a great extent of my mental illness. I've battled depression and anxiety all my life. So that's the other part of that stigma. So we're talking about addiction, but a lot of what we're talking about as well is getting people help for, uh, for mental illness. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much, Chris, for taking the time to get together and chat. And thank you, Rockford, for... 
Oh, I forgot the screen. <laughs> it's a lot harder than it looks for uh, tuning in. Uh, I just want to give a real quick shout out to all of our business sponsors and our backers that make content like this possible. It's because of their support I'm able to highlight local people like Chris that are doing wonderful things, not just for our local community, but for people abroad as well. Um, so thank you so much to them. And thank you, Rock, for tuning in. If anything that Chris has said resonates with you or someone that you know, definitely check out 40,000 Steps Radio and all the places that Chris mentioned. And we'll catch you on the flip side. Bye, Rockford.